入室の許可も挨拶もなく入ってきたのですから当然朝まででもお待ちいただけるのかと思っていました。I've always been a massive fan of Japanese culture, but when it comes to the Middle East aesthetic and art style, well, that's a close second. And that's what immediately drew me into the crimson flower that divides the lunar coupling's characters. It being an Otome just made it that much more endearing. But I think I'm going to. そんな強い女の人が嫁になってくれたらきっと兄貴も心強い。In the crimson flowers that divides lunar coupling, which I'll refer to henceforth as just crimson flowers because otherwise we'll be here all day, you play as Nala, a young princess who lives in the continent where the number of women have drastically decreased due to an incurable disease known as the rot. As the name implies, the disease rots away one's insides until they pass away. Still, Nala is special, being the only woman ever to survive the disease, and as such, she is about to be married to the future king of Rus. But unluckily, Nasla's troops invade the country and took her and her two best friends, Shalana and Shalu, who were forced to now stay in Nasla. And unfortunately, they will not get out of the country unless they choose a man to marry. The game has eight love interests, and the prologue will briefly show you all of them and their personalities. The story is more on the mature side of things, and some themes might be a bit provocative regarding some character views, particularly towards women. Without getting too deep into spoiler territory, I'd say this story is not for anyone who's into more lighthearted Atome stories, because some of the routes go into deeply problematic topics. Furthermore, Crimson Flower probably has some of the most messed up endings I've ever seen in an Atome game, period. While I try to avoid them at all costs, I generally know what to expect, something tragic, but it takes that factor to the next level, not necessarily in a good way. If you're the type that loves hunting for all the possible endings, then I suggest preparing yourself mentally. But let's get into one of my favorite things about Crimson Flower, and that's thanks to the fact that this is one of the few Atome games where the protagonist is voiced, and I'm a massive fan of that. I generally can't stress enough how great it feels to have an actual voice line coming from the protagonist. I know the purpose of not having any voice is to help you self insert into the character, but I've always been much more engaged when the protagonist herself is voiced. Words can't adequately describe how it makes the experience more meaningful. When it comes to the English translation, it's not bad, but it's far from great either. It just reeks overall of complete lack of quality assurance. There are a lot of line break issues and some repetition with weird words. Still, they're generally passable and don't make the game utterly unplayable. Even so, there's one thing I can't overlook how both the opening movie and the credits have no translation. It doesn't even contain English subtitles, and in one of the routes, a particular character has a blatant inconsistency in her name, and sometimes there's a bit of misgendering. Perhaps my biggest issue with Crimson Flower is that there is no flowchart or way to check your relationship levels with a given love interest. Furthermore, chapters aren't named in a way that will easily tell you when you've left the common route, and you're left to guess solely via the story alone. Finally, While it claims to have eight love interests in total, in reality, you're stuck with only three of them, and that's because the other five love interests can only be accessed as branches inside different routes. While this sounds great in practice, making the branch happen is irksome, because the point when the branches happen seems completely random, and the requirements aren't ever clear, once again, due to the lack of a flowchart. I can't stress how much I tried to trigger some of these branches, only to find the solution after multiple failed attempts, which frustrated me. Furthermore, because there aren't branches, most of those love interests are limited to which endings you can get, with only three having focus. This is made evident by the fact that the love interests, such as Noel, Surin, and Tuya, have over 16 unlockable artworks. The rest only have 11, with the lowest being 8. The Crimson Flower That Divides Lunar Coupling is an interesting Atome game that I would praise for its more mature plot, but it shows signs of having aged considerably from its original 2012 release. The issue with the story branching happening inside other routes made the experience confusing due to the lack of a flowchart. Further, when it came to specific love interests, the chapter names made navigating the routes a chore. 
a bit more quality assurance would have also gone a long way to remedy some of the typos. Noisy Pixel is giving the crimson flower that divides lunar coupling a 6.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please read the full review at noisypixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy Pixel.